before the games officially opened, our own Mitt Romney headed to London <laughs> for his first overseas trip as the presumptive Republican nominee. Romney's Mr. Olympics, having saved the Salt Lake City Games in 2002, and England is our closest ally. What could possibly go wrong? In the short time you've been here in London, do they look ready to your experienced eye? You know, it's hard to know just how well it will turn out. Will turn out. There are a few things that were disconcerting. <laughs> what are you doing? This is no time to display your sophisticated knowledge of the inner workings of Olympic preparation. You're a guest at a dinner party that already started. Slam dunk. Just nod your head and say the rabaki is delicious. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> it's so easy. Let me show you. Williams, loop another one up there for me. In the short time you've been here in London, do they look ready to your experienced eye? Oh, yes. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Done. Yes. No harm, no foul. It's, it's not like... Like I'm acting like these pages have anything to do with what I'm saying. They don't. <laughs> Playing hangman. <laughs> it's not like the British are going to be angry. You know, the British are not the type of people who take sport very seriously. Oh, here they are celebrating their favorite soccer team's victory. <laughs> so, uh, so we're cool, right? Today's headlines in London really raked Romney over the coals. Dubbed the party pooper in the Daily Mail, nowhere man in the Times of London. Also, Romney's terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day in London. This is the headline in the Sun, the tabloid. It reads, Mitt the twit. Here's one from the London asswipe. American idiot. The Daily Bullocks says, Book of Moron.